Hello, I hope you're all okay and you had a good bank holiday weekend. Um, it's now just over a week actually until the May, June half term. And just after that half term, immediately after the half term is when you're gonna be doing those progress checks, um, which I know Mr. Wheeler went through all the details of that last week in his assembly. So if you have any questions about that, you know, do revisit that assembly. Um, teachers are going to be contacting you with the work, the assessments they want you to do during those two weeks, and we won't be setting any other work. So it's so important, though, that you take those things seriously. You know, I know you can use your notes and you can use resources while doing them and there's no time limit. Um, so it's different to the real mocks that we were planning to have. Um, but it is important that you take those seriously because that's what kind of A-levels require. They require you to work consistently over the two years. Um, however, we know at the moment, you know, life continues to be pretty tough um, for lots of you. So we wanted to take the pressure off a little bit there. In terms of schoolwork, you should be completing at the moment, of course, um, the work that teachers send through to you and meeting their deadlines. Um, in terms of EPQ and, and global perspectives, you know, the priority is your, is your three subjects, but hopefully you've got time as well to start thinking and researching your EPQ or your global perspectives essay, following the guidance I know Mr Wheeler sent out in, in an email. I mean, in terms of progression, I know Ms Isaac has been providing lots of guidance and advice on progression and options over the last couple of assemblies. Just remember at the moment that um, you should be thinking about research and you should be thinking about um, thinking, you know, writing your drafting, your personal statement, doing a very early kind of draft of your personal statement. That would be really helpful. And there's, of course, continues to be lots of information and support for that um, on the progression website, which you can access via the school website. So hopefully that was all clear. Do let us know if we can do anything to help. Um, so now I'm going to hand over to Joey and then I'm going to hand over to Emma. Um, yeah, have a good um, rest of your week. Good morning, Year 12. And how are you today? It's me, Chaplain Joey. Good to meet you who have not met before. And uh, yeah, Mr. Shaw's just asked me to share a few words. And uh, I'm going to just give you a little bit of what I've been up to, share with you a, a funny video, and then end with a poem and a prayer. In this lockdown time, what have I been up to? Well, um, obviously, experimenting with the hair and with the nails. Um, I've also just been trying to work on like a bit of strength, so a little bit of endurance and core strength. A bit of spiritual fitness and trying to understand this book, the Bible, a little bit better. But I think my kind of learning from this time has been um, that I need to challenge myself, but also to accept myself. That I need to challenge myself, but also accept myself. What that means is that I'm someone who loves... Uh, um, a kind of project or, or a focus or a bit of structure, a bit of, um, yeah, something that's going to take me out of my comfort zone. And therefore, I like trying to set myself goals and challenges. Um, and actually, I really thrived on that with the, the fitness, with the, with the reading, with the skating. And uh, at the same time, I'm someone who um, knows I can be a bit too harsh on myself and, and maybe um, set my kind of um, expectation of myself a little bit too high and on days where I've not been feeling good uh, sometimes I can uh, not accept myself but actually I've been trying to learn that um, it's important for me to embrace those days and actually in this lockdown time there are days where we don't feel like um, you know smashing life and actually even just getting up and out of bed is, is a real win so I think I've been learning to accept um, myself and those bad days and those tough days and those days where I'm not productive as well as challenging myself to be productive and to go for it and I think that um, a lot of us can find that we can compare and we can be looking around at what other people are doing and easily um, start feeling bad about ourselves for that reason but um, one of the best quotes I've heard in this time is although we're all facing the same storm in Covid we're all in different boats and we'll experience this differently and so actually um, that means there's no time for comparison. There's no winning comparison. And so kind of my top tip for myself, but also for you lot is, 
is to is to challenge yourself, push yourself, you know, to see what new things you could do, what things um, in your studies you can be really uh, focusing on, and in your friendships and in your kind of your hobbies, and just kind of trying to challenge yourself, set yourself goals, but also accepting yourself and accepting that there'll be days where that's not as easy. So that's my top tip and a little bit from me. Here's um, a video of me trying to accept and challenge myself. Um, this is me trying to skate for the first time in 15 years. Um, it's one minute, enjoy. Just move on up toward your destination Though you may find from time to time complication Where do you find hope? If you know, please don't keep it to yourself. Be a generous soul. Come on, share your wealth. Share it out, share it loud, on or offline, it's time to share it now. Because it might just help someone whose head is down, who's long lost sight of the best route out. Look, I'm a hope fiend and I'm looking for hope dealers. I'm calling everybody to bring life. There's too many hope stealers and we're all facing the same storm, but we're all apart on different boats. So let's pass on a comparison and pass out hope to those who feel they're far from home, whose world or dreams or hearts are broke. We're all in need of something that sun rises up and guides, inspires us with motivation and strategy, fly kicks the apathy and wakes us on a Monday morning beaming at the prospect. Hope that plants the seed of faith when we've lost it. Hope that gives strength to the wrestlers and sight to the blind. Hope that provides rest to the weary and breath to the resigned. Hope that weeps with us, that breaks out in belly laughs and hope that whispers into the chaos, this too shall pass. Now feeling hopeful does not mean being optimistically naive and ignoring human suffering. But hope does not lock itself in darkness. It does not dwell in the past. It does not simply get by in the present, but is able to see a tomorrow. Yeah, I just want to finish on a prayer. And uh, I just want to bless each one of you. And I encourage each one of you. And I want to thank you, God, that you breathed the world into being with hope. You breathed hope into the fabric of the earth. And you breathe it into us individuals, us humans, collectively. And as I ask that for each person right now in their room, wherever they are, that they would find um, what they need to face this day, to face this time. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thanks for listening, folks. God bless. Stay safe. Challenge. Accept yourself. Yeah, try one more pop shot. Just move on up toward your destination. Though you may find from time to time. Morning! Welcome to this week's Good Mental Health Tip. I don't know what week it is anymore. In fact, I forgot what day it was. Um, 
it's Wednesday and Mr. Wheeler had to remind me to do the good mental health tip because I forgot that tomorrow was Thursday. So that's what kind of week I'm having. Anyway, this week's good mental health tip is about taking things one step at a time. So I'm sure you've heard that people talk about life being like a journey and sometimes that's useful to think about and sometimes I think not so much because actually a journey you usually know where you're going and how you're going to get there and sometimes I think it's easier to think about life as like a quest and in a quest um, you have an objective and something that you're you know we're trying to get through life but actually there will be loads of things in, that get in the way or that um, life throws at us that are going to be tricky along the way or that might be nice little surprises. This time that we're living through is one of those times in a quest where you think the hero is doesn't really know what to do and it seems like a sticky situation and lots of us are feeling really anxious lots of us are feeling sort of panicky we are not able to control what's going on right now we are not able to even really predict with any degree of certainty what is happening we don't know when we're going to be back in school we don't know you know there's so many unknowns right now and that's okay Sometimes we need to let go of the need for certainty, that need for predictability and that need to be able to plan and know what's going to happen and just think, Do you know what, I'm just going to take this a day at a time, one step at a time, see what happens and what is true today. Am I OK today? Do I know what I'm meant to do today? Can I do what I'm supposed to do today? If the answer to that is no, sometimes give yourself a break, like that's okay. Some of us, we're having bad days where we're not able to get dressed or we're not able to get anything done or the motivation just isn't there. That's okay. It's all right to have days like that. Um, if you're having more than days like that, get in touch and we might be able to help. Um, but on the whole, I just want to remind you that what is what can we do today? Don't think too much about tomorrow or next week or next month or whatever that's going to be. And we'll all get through this just one step at a time. So just take one step. What is the next thing that you can see to do in front of you? If that's just get up, just get up. If it's, uh, I've got a homework to do, just do the homework. If it's actually, think I just have a friend who needs me to be there for them today. Just do that. If you need a friend to be there for you, reach out and ask for that. So just do what you can do to get through today one step at a time. This isn't a race. This is just what our life is like right now and that's okay. Try and let go of that need for certainty. If you're struggling, get in touch. Helen and I are around. You can let your tutor know if you don't know our emails. Let your tutor know that you'd like us to contact you and we can do that by phone or by email. And I hope you guys are all okay. As I say every week, I massively miss you guys. I'm starting to worry about um, having to get up early and go into work every day and be there all day. That seems like an alien concept now. So starting to worry if I'll ever be able to do that again. But I think we'll make it again. Like I said, just trying to take it one day at a time right now. Don't need to think about that. So I miss you guys. Get in touch and hopefully see you soon. Bye.